So one of the new features in Mark Edit is the ability to interact with local data records, local data, local bibliographic data records in um, OCLC. So earlier on, uh, Mark Edit uh, was uh, modified to allow you to be able to interact with OCLC's WorldCat database using the uh, new metadata API. Those settings are made in the preferences under OCLC settings. One of the new options in this tool um, is the option to be able to get additional host data. So the holding codes come from, um, there are four digit code that gets set in OCLC. Um, libraries can have a lot of them. A lot of times people using these keys may not know what their holding code is. Uh, you can now click the get holdings code and mark edit will fill in all the holding, holding codes that this institution code here has available to it. So we'll go ahead and use set your information still here. We'll go ahead and go to the mark editor. In the OCLC WorldCat option, you'll see the search WorldCat, which was there before, create an updated bib record, which was there before, update holdings, which was there before, but there's a new option, add, delete, update local bibliographic data. So um, we can go ahead and search for a record. I'm going to go ahead and search for a specific record uh, by OCLC number because there is a local bibliographic holdings record there that I had attached. And I'll go ahead and search by OCLC number. So one of the things you can't tell at this point is you can't tell whether or not an element has a local bibliographic record. Um, and that's partially because the the API doesn't provide a, uh, that is part of the return object. You have to actually make a secondary query to find that out. So rather than doing that, um, the expectation is the user probably knows whether or not there's a local bibliographic record on the record that they're looking for. If they don't, um, they can go ahead and check this button and ask to download it if it's present. And if it's not, have Mark Edit generate um, a uh, bibliographic record uh, if necessary. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and download it. This is what it'll ask. Should it generate a record if it's not present? I'm going to go ahead and tell it no because I know there's one there. Um, it goes ahead and pulls the record down. So this is what a local bibliographic record looks like. Uh, you can see that there's a 500 field that I've added recent, uh, into this. There's two 790s. Local bibliographic data, this is data that's uh, available just to uh, the local institution. So we can go ahead and add data here. Uh, so we go ahead and add our data. Now we want to go ahead and put it back. We can go here to uh, uh, the add delete WorldCat uh, local bibliographic data. You'll see that the process bibliographic records is checked. If I wanted to delete it, I would check the delete records holding, um, but I'm going to go ahead and change this. So I go ahead and I hit the process button. Um, it goes ahead and uploads it and it gives you uh, the output. If you see this, then the record has been processed correctly. If it's not, it'll output the uh, error that uh, has been generated on the OCLC side. Um, so if I want to go ahead and see if indeed uh, the changes were made, I can either go to that link or I can search the OCLC database and pull that record back down and we can see that the the notes have been added so let's say I wanted to create a new local bibliographic holding so in order to do that I have to attach it to an OCLC record so I search the, uh, the title of the record that I want to find I select the option, the, title, the record that I'm going to add my local bibliographic uh, uh, holding to. Uh, I download it. I tell it yes. So it goes ahead and there was no uh, local bibliographic record. So Mark Edit generates one. Um, it creates the, it links it. This is the OCLC number to the record that I've created. Uh, these are some other pieces. It's a local system number that OCLC requires it's been generated as well as the um, the information about my holdings institution I'm 
I can go ahead and create my note and then I can go ahead and send it back up and process that record and you can see that the record was created. Um, now if I go back to that record and ask to download the local bibliographic file that record exists and so I could go ahead and make changes to it or I could delete it. That's what I'm going to do here. I'll go ahead and delete that record, process it. Again, it gives me back this item. It's been deleted. That's the success message. I can confirm that it's been successfully deleted either by trying to access that, um, that individual number or by going back to um, the record itself and we see that no record exists so it's blank so the record was deleted now it's kind of interesting when you're deleting local bibliographic records you can't just pass an OCLC number you have to pass the whole record so that's why that option exists here um, as part of the process is uh, you have to pass a, the, the local bibliographic record as a mark record um, needs the whole thing. It's, it's part of the validation process. But that's essentially how it works. Um, this is a first cut through on working with local bibliographic data. So um, I imagine that like the, uh, the original work that was done um, working with the metadata IP, API that there'll be changes uh, as users work with this and, uh, and kind of find uh, new and better ways to, to interact with the, uh, the WorldCat system through MarkEdit.